Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to South Ridge Point. But again, before we get into this one, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So unfortunately, I can't back up anymore. There is a wall. There is a gate. But I'm gonna spin around really quickly and talk a little bit about where we are. We are out in Vegas, like right here is the um, South Point Casino. But before we get into this one, if you are thinking about buying new, you are considering buying new, you want to buy new, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go take a look at the models in person. I need to go with you the first time. I need to call on your behalf if you want representation. Otherwise, you're gonna work directly with the sales associates and they are awesome, but they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. Again, all my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Now, right here is the sales office. The two car garage is right there. But again, new construction, tri-point home. We are looking at the plan three. This one is 1,899 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. This one is gonna start at 458, so $458,000. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, I am doing new tours every single day, so make sure to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date. Now, before we actually get into this, a little bit about the community also. There is an HOA, it is $210 a month. You will get access to the pool, there is a dog park, and since it's a townhome, the HOA is gonna cover exterior, so they'll cover the roof, they'll cover the paint on the exterior. Lots are about 5,000 a month, uh, 5,000. Most people are putting about 10, percent into the base price so on average you'll see these homes little over 500 maybe 510 on their price but these models i'm going to tell you right now these are going to be at least 50 grand more this is probably what 550 560 ish again the backyard's done too so just keep that in mind as we go through the tour so if we start right here we do have our living space so this one since it's on the end you'll get the extra windows on the side as well but we have our living space i know with tripoint they have the options if you want additional can lighting too which is always really nice i know it's only five o'clock in the afternoon but there are not a lot of lights in here so this home you're gonna need lamps just because you have one here you have a couple over there but this will get dim just once that sun goes down we have our dining area and we have our six person dining table. There's a lot of space right here. But before we check out the kitchen, I wanna show you out back because when you buy new construction, it's one of the reasons I always tell people, even on new construction, hire an agent, you're not going to get a completed backyard. It's going to be dirt. You're basically gonna get some pavers right here. Now this one, I was able to see, has actually a pretty nice size lot, as you can see. Most of them are just gonna go to the end of the wall. But this one, since it's on the end, since there's parking over there, it has quite a nice size lot. Now, pool spa heater. If your lot is big enough to support a pool, figure at minimum 60 grand, probably closer to 80, if you add any sort of features or anything. So a backyard out here, once you do the pool spa heater, it, once you do landscaping, is going to probably be either close to, if not into the six figure range. So one of the reasons why I tell people hire agents, they're gonna help you navigate all of that, help you know, hey, this might be a good idea, this might not, depending on price point, depending on what you're looking for. So again, if you have any questions, all my info is down in the description as well as that pinned comment. Let me just close this door. I do like what they did with the kitchen. Again, everything is gonna be an option in there. So optioned up cabinets. They did an option countertop. I do like the overhang, very easy to fit three. I feel like it could have even come out more. There's a lot of space for that dining area. So they did the 40 inch uppers. I wanna check really quickly. They're just bumper. Now, again, you can always just get the standard closing. You can always go to Lowe's, Home Depot, probably even Amazon and get soft closing hinges, but they did the uppers. I can't tell, they look like they're almost navy. I can't tell if they're black or navy. I can't tell if it's the lighting. They almost have like a hint of blue in them. 
you have our backsplash and then you have cabinets. So again, or sorry, drawers. So additional. If we spin right here into the island, right here, that is actually our trash. It slides out. More storage. We have a very nice Blanco undermounted sink. It's probably like a $700 to $1,000 sink alone right here. If you don't know what this is, this is a reverse osmosis. There are some filters that sit underneath the sink and basically bottled water comes out of that. If you don't know, Vegas has very, very hard water. Here's your view. Feels like you're in the middle of everything. If we continue on, more cabinetry. You have your five burner cooktop. Looks to be a slight upgrade on the appliances. Maybe just like one step up. You have your microwave and it does vent outside. Continuing on, we have our fridge and then let's check out the pantry. So right here, standard pantry, five shelf. Again, if you want to try to sneak another shelf up there that's not so deep that you can pull stuff in and out, you could always do that later on. Now again, 100% flooring's upgraded, the railing's upgraded. Normally it's going to be just a pony wall, but before we get there, right here is our two car garage. Right now it is the sales office. And then here we have our powder room. So you're gonna get the same cabinets. Very interesting wallpaper. It's very bright, which is nice. I know I just went through the other ones. And just because of the wallpaper that was in there, or the paint, it felt a little dim, but not in there. Now coming on upstairs, again, if you have any questions whatsoever about anything I'm saying in this tour, a different tour, new construction resale, please, please, please give me a call. All my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So coming this way, this is cool. So again, upgrade, because normally pony wall, but it feels so much more open. I do like the chandelier. So we have our loft. Obviously they turned it into a little workout area. You could do a lot with this. If you have kids, play area. If you want to turn it into an office, office area, there's a lot you can do. Right here, again, I toured these basic same models over at Inspirata. They did not have the balcony. One of the cool things about over here, this is standard. This is not an option because in other places, like this would be a $10,000 option, not here. Right there is South Point, like I was saying. And if we come over here, now, can't promise that that view will always be there. There's a lot of lots right there, but as you can clearly see, that's the strip. So if an agent always tells you, oh, you have that view, you have that view, mm, you can clearly see homes are gonna be built right there. It might always be there, but it might not. So if an agent tells you you're gonna always have that view, I would question them on that. We keep spinning again, workout area, and then coming on into bedroom number one. And it appears to be the primary. So I don't know if the camera's already picking up. Again, it's only like 5.15 now. And you can see it's already starting to get a little dim in here. I know there's the, um, the sconces with the lamps. They do offer can lighting. This is a big enough room that you might want to option with can lighting because king size bed, nightstand, nightstand. We have our tree, nice big window, but I feel like it might get a little dim later on in the evening. So I tell people always pick the structural options. You can always change flooring. You can always paint cabinets if you want. It just gets expensive. It's not that it can't be done to add lighting, but it's just easier if you have it done in the beginning. So we have tub shower combo. I do believe you have the option for shower only. And I know with TriPoint, they usually have the option if you want tile. So this is composite. Again, there's your shower head, your valve and your tub filler. Usually it's just gonna be a bar or a curtain, but they have glass here. If we spin back around, we have our double vanities. I can't tell, they almost, but I don't know if you can see the difference. Like that's definitely black. I can't tell if there's a little tiny bit of blue in it. There might just be, they backsplashed along there. There is your undermounted sinks. And continuing on in, we have our closet. It's decent size. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Double bar, single bar, single bar. So I didn't see this at first. I was to say it's a little bit on the smaller side, but it's not too bad. You have your toilet right here, and I do appreciate how far back it is because once you open the door, you don't have to like stand on the bowl or like hide over there to be able to sneak out. And then right here. Oh, awesome. So I think they might even have the option for the big shower if you wanna do. Some people call it the Vegas shower, some people call it the car wash shower. 
but they might have that option. I've seen it at other communities, but you have another closet. So there's actually quite a bit of closet space in this one. So coming on out and let's check out the other bedrooms. So oops, we skipped right here. We have our linen closet. It's actually pretty deep. This can almost be another closet if need be. It's pretty deep. So a lot of storage right there. But continuing on down the hallway right here, we have the laundry. So washer and dryer. This 100% is an option. It's going to be a shelf. So if you want extra storage, you can always do that. They're gonna match up to whatever is downstairs in the bathroom, or excuse me, in the kitchen. Coming on a bedroom number one, not bad size. Obviously very fun space theme. Full size bed, nightstand, nightstand. I mean, you could get a desk in here. If you did one nightstand and a desk, there's even a dresser, a little chair. This is a pretty nice size room. We have mountains all off in the uh, distance. And then spinning, we have our two door closet. Again, if you need more hanging space, move that bar shelf up, add a second one and you've doubled it. Before we get to, or actually let's do the bathroom first. So upstairs bathroom, same cabinet, same countertops, different backsplash up here. And then we have toilet and we have tub shower combo. And this is what I was saying. This is what standard's gonna be. They did the glass in the primary. So you have shower head, valve, tub filler, pretty nice. And then right here, there's even more storage. So there is quite a bit of storage in this home. Coming on into bedroom number three, and this is what standard's gonna be. You're gonna get a J box. So if you, when you purchase the home, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be all white walls with a J box, ready to put a ceiling light and or fan, put a combo. They do have the switches for it that will support it. Okay, bedroom number three, full size bed, nightstand desk, and dresser. So these rooms are actually pretty decent size. If we spin around, obviously Pokemon theme. I would have loved this when I was a kid. I had all the cards and watched the show. We have our dresser and then we have a walk-in closet that's actually really nice size. You even have a window in here. I mean, you could even put a dresser right here, like a vertical one or something. There's a lot of storage in this home. I'm actually really impressed with how much storage there is. All in all, pretty nice. What do you think about this one? Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this home? Is this your style? I'm curious to hear. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.